Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up Google Analytics in Magento 2. And this is dead easy to do. If you can manage copy and paste, you can do it. So with that said, follow us along in this tutorial. We're going to jump across to our desktop and follow us along. So Dave, we've been to come across to our desktop and setting up Google Analytics is dead easy. And when I said copy and paste, it is copy and paste easy. So from the left hand menu, if you click on stores and then click on configuration from the pop out menu. Now Dave, it is worth noting, we're just gonna set this up as a default for our single store, which we've got in our Magento administration area. But of course, if you've got multiple websites set up within your Magento account, you can change the store view and have different settings for each of your domains or each of your store views. But we're just gonna go the easy way and just set it up as a global config. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes total sense. Excellent. So the section which we're after is cells. So I've just scrolled down and I'm gonna click on cells. Let me just scroll down a touch more. And we're after the section called Google API. So we'll click into that section and where it says Google Analytics, and by the way, if that section's hiding, click on the little down arrow on the right hand side. Change the enable to yes. And Dave, can you say we need an account number? Yes. Up on your screen right now is a link to analytics.google.com. Now, if you copy that and pop that into your web browser, so let me just get there myself. If you don't already have a Google Analytics account just yet, just sign in with your Google account and just follow the steps through. It's really simple to do. Or if you've been and signed in, then you'll see a screen similar to what we've got here. Now, Dave, we need the account ID. And actually, I can see it on this screen here. Can you see where it says UA and then hyphen and then some numbers and then there's a hyphen on the end with another number? That's what we're after. By the way, this is also, if you click into your all website data and then go to the admin tab along the top and then click on property settings, you'll also get your tracking ID at the top. So you may have seen that number before. Just make sure you copy all of that number. So typically it starts with UA, then you've got a hyphen, a selection of numbers, and then a hyphen and another number. You want to make sure that you've got it all. Then go back to your Magento admin where it says account number, right click and paste those details in. Now, of course, for advanced users, you can set up content experiments and that's a simple yes, no option. If you don't know what content experiments are, just leave that set to no. Once you've been and made your changes, press save config and you may be prompted, which we've just been prompted to clear out our cache. And that's really straightforward. Just click on cache management at the top. Then on the left hand side, click on the drop down box, choose select all, and then press submit at the top. And a few seconds later, your caches will be updated. And Dave, that's it. Wow, that was quick. Now, before you go, the crucial thing here is not to panic. If you immediately then go off to your Magento website and navigate around a couple of pages, and then go to your Google Analytics account, and you don't see any tracking information on there, then don't panic. It will stay like this, so no results or no analytics, for a good couple of hours. Say that you've just been to set this up and it's 11.24 in the morning, for example, come back later this evening, say five o'clock in the afternoon, and then come back and check your stats. The Google Analytics lags behind quite a bit, so don't panic if you haven't got any stats immediately. That's not how Google Analytics works. Instead, just come back and check in the evening or check tomorrow morning. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, that makes total sense and so easy to do. Yeah, like I said back in the beginning, it's copy and paste easy. So with that said, for myself, Matt, and from me, Dave, cheerios. So from myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. 
In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.